The way they're swinging the bat and pitching right now. Yeah. Dan mm -mm. Plesak has many accolades to his baseball resume. One of them being that he was on the 1987 Brewers Club that opened the season with 13 consecutive wins. Are you concerned that the Tampa Bay Rays have what it takes to blow past that record? Highly concerned. Highly concerned. They're doing everything right right now. Their starting pitching is airtight. The bullpen's been great. They're scoring runs. They're running the bases. They're playing smart baseball. Their defense is airtight. Wander Franco is playing out of his mind right now. They are firing on all cylinders. They're going to be tough to derail. I mean, pretty much right now, they're in a situation they need two more wins to tie to your tie. Brewers. Yes. You got to go against Chris Sale who has 11 right now, where you're bringing up your rookie, Taj Bradley, to go against them. Mm -hmm. And then you got Kluber, who has a six and a half right now, going against Jeffrey Springs, who hasn't given up a run it this better, season. It, it better be tomorrow. So if you're a fan of the 87 <laughs> Brewers, which I am. So the last time, the last time this guy had one of his records threatened. In jeopardy. It was back when Josh Hader was cruising to break. Oh, he was going to blow right by me. Right. And I don't know how he jinxed the situation. I don't know if he's a whisperer into the front office of the, of the Milwaukee Brewers. But anyway, he was over the top with Josh Hader. Josh Hader got the save. He did an interview. And just, I'm going to bring back this interview that Dan Plesak did with Josh Hader. It's almost like he knew something was up. Just watch, watch this. I think really doing the arm care, doing the little things that, uh, you know, are away from the field. And when you pass my record, what will you do that night? Will you at least give me a tip of the cap? <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a tip of the cap, and then we'll give you a whiskey. How about that? Bingo. We're on, brother. Thank you. <laughs> oh, outstanding. I don't know why, Dan. It looked like you knew he was going to be traded. <laughs> Making phone calls on the yeah, side. Yeah, like well, when Man, I we found out that news, I, I my, know how to keep this. My exact. phone was blowing up that day, right? Like, <laughs> hey, your your save records in in jeopardy. But no, guess what? They traded Hater to the Padres, and I had to come on here and try to act like, ah, oh, man, I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there aren't many things you can hang your hat on, right? <laughs> I mean, seriously, I, I, I can imagine, right? And so, yes. But uh, anyway, so I'm what you gonna do this time? I'll put the thing on him. I'm gonna have John Adam, who's a former trainer of the Brewers. He's living in Arizona right now. Johnny, if you're out there, can you do me a favor? Can you put the thing on the Rays? It's on him. What's on him? That thing? What's that thing? Capital DH thing. Woo, 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 woo. Are you literally trying to jinx a Major League Baseball team? In the yes. League? Absolutely. That's, yes. that's what he's doing. He's making that pretty yes. obvious. They can win after they can it's lose on one. They can lose one and then go back to winning again. That is not professional, Dan. I know it's not.